My name is Liam, and today I would like to talk about the ionic compound potassium chloride. Potassium chloride may be known by most people, but its uses are relatively unknown. It is known as a rock salt and is one of the main cations in our cells of our body and is used to help with our heartbeat and muscle function. It is personal to me as I do sprinting and do a lot of training and it is one of the compounds in the supplements that I take to help my body cope with the work output needed and help prevent fatigue and muscle soreness. formula for potassium chloride is KCl. It is made of a positive potassium ion and a negative chloride ion, which bond together ionically. The chloride, uh, the potassium ion has one valence electron and the chlorine has seven valence electrons in it. And they share a pair of electrons, which is an ionic bond to fill their outer shell. It has a face-centered cubic crystalline structure which cleaves easily in three directions. From having this structure, it has a boiling point of 1500 degrees Celsius, melting point of 771 degrees Celsius, and a density of 1,988 kilograms per meter cubed. Potassium is an electrolyte which is an ion that dissolves within a solution which conducts electricity, which are essential for cell and organ function. Low levels of potassium can cause myalgia, which is muscle pain, and can cause cramps or muscle weakness, which can cause injuries in a highly explosive sport such as sprinting. If there are low levels of potassium in the body, it causes the potassium to sodium ratio to be less, causing the reactions of the impulse transmission to be slower. They are slower because there are fewer ions which make it less electronegative, meaning that the transition along the neurons is not as rapid and the contractions of the muscle are slower and will last longer, causing cramps and muscle soreness. To prevent this from happening, taking sufficient amounts of potassium each day, keeping blood levels between 3.5 and 5 millimoles per litre. Getting the right amount of potassium can be done by eating foods which contain potassium, such as bananas, or taking supplements or vitamins which contain potassium. But in doing so, you must remember that taking too much can also have a negative effect on your body. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video on the ionic compound potassium chloride.